if you're asked to evaluate this radical, you might stop and say, whoa, I know I, this, this is going to be a problem here because I have a negative sign underneath the radical. But this is asking for something different. This is asking for the cube root of uh, 64. Now, the cube root means you're looking for something so that when you, when you cube it, when you raise it to the third power, it makes the number you're talking about. And we can come up with something that's going to make negative 64 because if you do negative 2 cubed, that would make it negative 8. So negative answers are possible. The big thing to watch out for is if it's if it's a positive, I mean, if it's an even root here, you can't have a negative sign because you're always going to have a negative times a negative to make positive, so it'll cancel out. But if it's an odd number for a root, this can be computed. So we tried two, we cubed two, that didn't work. So let's go on. Let's try maybe three. If you cube that, that makes 27. So that's not it. That's gone, that's gone. What about 4? If you cube 4, 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 makes 64. So this is the magic one. We need negative 4 cubed, okay? Because that will make 64, negative 64. Negative 4 times negative 4 makes positive 16, and positive 16 times another negative 4 brings you back to negative 64. So this is what this simplifies to me.